Well, hey, biology, hope you're doing well when you get this video. I'm using the webcam in my classroom, first time trying this, so hopefully it works out. But I wanted to make a video about discussing expectations for the Alpella report. It is due next Friday. I believe that will be the 17th of September. And I want to go through exactly where to find everything, what I expect in it. So there, um, this, this is a resource for you to use, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Where am I at? I'm on my north side. So it's biology one. Uh, I'm just using biology here, period two. But all of the classes have an Alpella dissection topic, okay? So if you click on that, you can see all these different resources here. You know, some nice photos. That's pleasant. That's even more pleasant. Okay, got some videos here and various things. I might try to post some photos of some of the reconstructions that we made in class. Uh, pretty cool stuff. So right here, you'll find the Alpella guide and the Al data. If you open that, you will find exactly what I'm going to go over today. I did pass out one in class, but I made a few adjustments because I wanted to manipulate and analyze the data a little bit more than what I originally passed out. So the updated guide is right here, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So this is the guide that you will find when you open that up. And so what you will see here is I want a title. So every lab should have a title. And you know, simple, straightforward, what is it? Owl pellet dissection lab. It's very good, general title. You can make anything like that. So the introduction, so these are paragraphs. So as you are writing in your lab book, I would like for it to be labeled with sections. So I want you to write introduction, underline, and then under that start your paragraphs. So this is where we get some of our background information. So I want you to look up the genus and species of the barn owl. You know, this involves a little research. Where are they found? Location, habitat, you know, where in the United States, the habitats, do they live in? Are they dry? Are they uh, moist? Are they hot? Are they cooler? Does it matter? Why don't you look that stuff up? How long do they live? Again, a good research question. What do they normally eat? Again, remember in science, before we start, you know, doing experiments, we do research. We try to figure out what's already been known about something. I do want you to draw a rough sketch of a food web. I, I put a little note here. Remember, this is science, not art class. Listen, I'm not grading on, you know, creativity. I'm grading on, you know, accuracy of a food web. Um, yes, I do want you to draw it roughly. doesn't have to be crazy, but I want you to kind of draw, okay, here's the rat. Rat eats the grass or various other things. So I want you to work on that for me. How do they catch their prey? How do they create a pellet? And what was the purpose of this investigation? Remember, I'm all about wondering, you know, and making sure you, you never wonder why. And I'm writing with a mouse. And so that is very, that's very rough. I probably need to get a writing pad. I wonder if I, yeah, I wonder if I could mirror my iPad. Sorry, inter, you know, just rambling. But here we go. So what was the purpose of this investigation? So materials is your next section. So I want you to list everything you use. This is just a list. And then the data. So the data is found on my north side. I want you to find the average of pellet mass for all the groups that submitted results. Average of skulls per pellet. Which color had the highest average mass? So on the data sheet, and I'll pull it up here, you can see, and let me drag it over to it's in the screen. You can see that here are three colors, yellow, green, and like a orange roughly. So I want you to do a little analyzing and figure out for me which class has the highest average match, or which group I should say, yellow, green, or orange. And then I want you to hand draw a correct graph showing pellet mass. You can pick you know, either yellow, green, or orange. And correct graph showing average number of skulls. Again, pick yellow, green, or orange. Okay, what type of graph should I use? Should I use a line graph? Should I use a bar graph? Should I use a pie chart? There's different examples of the way of visualizations of data. So, so I want you to think about that. I want you to think about what's the best way to, to put this data into a figure so it tells a story. And then finally, the conclusion is our last, last section. So what can we learn about the owl and its environment from studying pellets? What are three questions that you have for further investigation? Remember, I talked to you all about this in class, but I will definitely ask you, where can we go from here? What's next? How could you take this and change it? Something in the future. Part C, what can we learn about the ecosystem? So 
quick definition, an ecosystem, we're, we're going to go into ecology after one more chapter, includes all of the living things, plants, animals, organisms, um, and how they interact with their environment. So owls inhabit by dissecting owl pelts. What can we learn about how they interact with each other and other species? Sorry, let's fix that. What would happen if the rodent population declined in the owl's region? So most of our owl pellets had rodents. But let's say something happened to the rodents. Let's say a disease happened. Uh, maybe a new predator came into the scene and started eating them faster than the owls could. What would the owls do? How would the owls respond? Remember, living things respond to their environment. They adapt. They, you know, some living things fly south for the for the winter, right, when it gets cold. So how would the owls respond? I want you to start thinking about that. Use some original creative thoughts about that. And then finally, in a paragraph, roughly five plus sentences, explain how you use scientific inquiry during this lab. How did you use a scientific method? How did you use science? That was one of the biggest goals of this activity. Let's practice science. Let's practice observing. Let's practice data collection. Let's practice analyzing and so many other things that we try to practice. So I want you to try to explain that. I want you to explain it in five plus sentences and the conclusion, okay? So that is the owl pellet guide, you know, lab report outline. This is what I'm expecting, okay? So it counts as two grades again in the lab section. One more time, where is all this found at? Where, um, my north side, there's the guide under downloads. And there's the owl data, okay? So again, as always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I hope this video was helpful. A couple of, you know, mistakes probably, I'm sure. I'm not a professional YouTuber, but hopefully this helps you at least a little bit. And again, hope you're doing well when you watch it. Let me know if you have any questions, guys. God bless.